food has always been very important to me and now I live over near the farm. Oh, lovely. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. The Alan Craven River runs behind my house. And sadly, there's these wonderful cascades um, in Ennestime and huge sort of waterfall, quite extraordinary thing. But it throffs up the water, particularly after the farmers have spread the slurry on the fields. So the slurry goes on the fields, it rains, it goes straight into the water, and you see these great islands of scum float downriver down to the beach and into the ocean. So this is a small poem about that. It's called Nyad, uh, from that idea that the, the rivers were spirits themselves, goddesses here in this country, Shannon, Bowen, um, Anna Liffey, all of those rivers were goddesses once. Yeah. So here, when rain falls after the slurry is spread in the fields, the river runs thick with scum. The naiad of the Aina drowns again. I carry my sorrow to St. Bridget's well, once more take refuge in her plain song. Everything tangled shall be unraveled. And this poem, gosh, they're all rather sad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my book and then I found it. Oh, did you? Oh, you can go to, uh, across to Rachel. She'll give you another one, maybe. I found another one. Oh, good for you. Over an hour, she brings her great body to bear around the small boat. Quick as a lizard dives, disappears, resurfaces right beside us in her own way playing like a kitten likeness our reflex not like anything each barnacle the sea lice patches of silver an odd familiar vestigial bristle on her back at a right angle to the panga she displays her pregnant belly to the sun, to the sky, to us. She declares with pride, behold, I am with child. It's a dead butterfly. Oh, so it is, a dead butterfly. Expo was a really interesting project. I'm not even going to begin to talk to you about it because it would take far too long. But one of the things that came out of the Expo was a conversation about how to grow potatoes. And I knew nothing, and I was blown away by the amount of very specific knowledge about how to grow potatoes that Francis Whelan, Tom, Tom Keating, and Michael Malone had. And that knowledge was really, it's, it's, it's crafted to that local area. And I said to them, I, and I was really interested in it as a way of breaking ground so that you could make a vegetable garden, because I had a back field. That was just grass, so I wanted to grow vegetables. So um, they showed me how to make potato ridges, these are beautiful ridges they made, and that started me thinking about that ridge as a kind of technological innovation that happened in Ireland as a kind of survival mechanism, um, going back to the 16th century. Um, and, and, and what it represented in terms of where we are right now. We live in a, we're dependent on food systems that are largely controlled by, I think it's seven different multinationals can control most of the food that we buy in our supermarkets. Um, we don't have food security in Ireland. <laughs> oh, the water's going to Oh, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> What is that? 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 What is that?